But here is the mo most alarming factor in this entire video. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering why you clicked on it and how Amazon is controlling sellers by one number on Amazon.com. <laughs> Hey, it's Shane Rise and Grind Picker, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about eBay, Amazon, Walmart.com, and several other topics. So, we're gonna get into this video. Like, share, and subscribe, um, and send this out to someone you think that this video might benefit from because what I'm about to tell you is fairly crazy. So as you know, the fourth quarter is approaching and the fourth quarter on Amazon for Amazon sellers is big business, big business. It could make or break the entire year, just like normal retail stores kind of go through. Here recently, Amazon upped their IPI score, which is your inventory performance dashboard. So that number that you see on there tells you whether or not you are going to get unlimited storage for that quarter or if you are going to be bound to a storage limit for the quarter, three months that you're in, they reassess it and then re-give you your number. Well, they upped that number recently to 500. I believe it was 400 before that. Currently, you have three levels to your IPI score, green, yellow, and red. Red means you are definitely gonna be limited to a storage space number. It could be 150, it could be 450, but you're definitely gonna be limited. And let me tell you this, the IPI score recently, which is why I'm making this video, has been troubling and Amazon is controlling I believe every seller for this number and I can give you two reasons why that is so if you look back and you remember all the FBA stuff you had when COVID happened and all that stuff well some people were selling more some people were selling less and this buy box glitch that everybody is talking about on Amazon Currently, I don't think is a glitch where sellers are being stuck in the buy box. Now this, you may not think this is related to your IPI score. You might think it's, it's totally unrelated, but I can tell you it's not. Currently, I'm not having buy box issues right now on my account, but I know some people still are. And when Amazon doesn't rotate the buy box, that makes your sell-through go down, which means you're selling less products, you're not selling as many, which affects your IPI score. I know it's crazy, right? But that's not even the biggest concern. Not even close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the screen share up right now, and this is what it looks like. Your number is determined on all four of those factors. Now with the IPI score moving to a 500, uh, you're gonna have to do way better. This year is the first year I have ever had problems with my IPI score. My account is roughly five to six years old and I did more Merchant Fulfilled but I'm doing way more FBA now last few years. I have never had problems with my IPI score ever. And this is the alarming part. If you go into the forums on Amazon.com for the sellers, a lot of sellers are having huge issues with their IPI score. As you've seen by that screen share, all those numbers are determined on how you sell, your sell through. Well, if the buy box isn't rotating, your sell through is gonna be horrible. Mine's in yellow, it was in green, mine's in yellow now, and now I'm selling really, really a lot, 
just like before, but it didn't recover. And you have to understand that once the IPI score is set in stone and Amazon sends you that email saying that you are limited for space, for cubic space in Q4, you, even if you change your number, you are still going to be limited. Now in January, that will change and you will go, you could go unlimited if your score is over a 500. But here is the most alarming factor in this entire video. Do you see the stranded inventory? I'm in red. Do you see the stranded inventory? That's important because I was in red. If you didn't see the stranded inventory, go back to the screenshot or the screen share and look and then come back to this part because what I'm going to tell you is insane. My stranded inventory is in red because I had 40, 40 some ASINs, over 40 ASINs go into stranded. I have a hundred and eight stranded items that I can't remove. Amazon will not let me remove them. And I know several people that's had the same problem that I have. So I called Amazon about four or five times to get an answer and I couldn't get an answer. Finally, I got an email that said, dear seller, since our investigation is coming to fruition, we have realized that we have been destroying inventory that should have been sent back to you from June to August. So you will get a reimbursement once our investigation is final. Now that's not even the most alarming part. The most is I have automatic send backs on my stranded inventory set up and I have had stranded inventory since May of this year and Amazon will not send it back to me. They keep up in the date and they'll up the date till June and, and every two weeks or every week the date will update, but it never gets sent back. It still stays in stranded inventory no matter what I do. I have called Amazon and gave them all the ASINs to every single piece of inventory. It still hasn't been concluded on their investigation. It's still in my stranded inventory, which made my number red. Here's a screenshot of all that stranded inventory with the dates. It became stranded. Okay. It became stranded on these dates. Keep in mind, I have seven day auto removal, which means it's supposed to send it straight back to the address on file to the seller, which is me every seven days, but it hasn't been doing that for three to four months. This may sound like a conspiracy to you, but I also know several other sellers, a lot of other sellers. One of those sellers has one item stranded, one ASIN stranded, and it affected their account 0.7% on that number. So fairly close to 1% and that's one ASIN, which means all 40 and all 108 items of my stranded pretty much affected my IPI score to where I was limited. Now, the question you have to ask yourself, is Amazon doing this on purpose? Are they purposely doing this so sellers will be limited so they can control what comes into their warehouse for fourth quarter? But I've also guarantee you that you've seen in the news and on e-commerce sites that Amazon is looking into buying or using Sears stores that have closed down in the malls for fulfillment centers. So that's telling you right there that they have a space issue, huge space issue. So I believe that they are tanking stranded inventory down just like that to control sellers, what they can send in in the fourth quarters so their warehouses don't get overwhelmed. Now, why would they do this? Well, it makes sense for them 
but not really much sense for FBA sellers because let's face it, we pay the $40 FBA, we pay all that stuff to get premium seller services. And Amazon is not completing those services for FBA sellers and Amazon sellers, which means that we are not getting what we're supposed to be getting because we do pay higher fees for FBA. So here's the crazy part. When my numbers started tanking, it was a 490 and I removed all my excess inventory immediately. That went into the green or dark green. My sell through went up to yellow, but my score still went, guess what? It went down still. After all those changes, it went seven to 10 points down. And over the course of them changing that 500 IPI score, my score fell a hundred points. So you're probably thinking, well, Amazon should have fixed that for you. They should have. Four calls over the course of three months. The last call was two weeks ago when I asked them, why is this affecting my IPI score? If Amazon is refusing to send my stranded inventory back, and I got an email the next day that said, greetings sellers, sorry for the inconvenience, but due to COVID-19, the warehouse cannot send your stranded in inventory back. But I bet you, since I've been limited now, I bet you in a couple weeks, it'll come right back to me with no issues because I've already been limited. This is the point. They are freeing up warehouse space and the big, big sellers, like top 10% or, you know, over $2 million sellers or so, will get fruition to that space. So go ahead and comment down below this video if you have had this problem as well. I want to hear your thoughts and what you think about this. Just know that if you're going to do full-time reselling, I'm a full-time reseller, to please... Take your income and sell on multiple platforms. I sell on Walmart.com, eBay, and Amazon. You need multiple sources of income coming in because you don't know what Amazon is going to do from day to day. And you need to protect yourself at all costs.